first in a series of videos here. Hey! I'm Tyler. This is Stephanie. What's up, guys? Okay, so what I've kind of seen is there's a, a little bit of a shortage of videos on people who kind of live a little bit more of a minimalist, minimalistic lifestyle. Um, I do know there's some people that do like tiny house stuff, but what we do is we live in an RV. And so some of the things that I have kind of sorted out on my own and things that we've come up with, so stuff like this right here. She went and just bought that one day because we needed a little bit more counter space and things, places to put things inside of here. And whenever we move, our slide out is on this side and it pushes all the way in. Well, we just moved this over into the kitchen. So there's little things like that that I'm gonna show you guys that we've kind of done around here to kind of make life a little bit easier. So, um, without further ado, I'm gonna show you some stuff. This is my rig, it's a 1998 Jayco Designer fifth wheel four season. So it's got heat and AC. We live in Florida now, so we don't really need heat but it was nice in kansas city got a nice little awning there's my pickup that i pull it with it's just a gas three-quarter sierra this rig weighs about eight thousand pounds with all of our stuff in it it's about ten thousand pounds so this truck handles it fine dragged it all over the place we went from south padre to pensacola or kansas city south padre pensacola now we live in st petersburg so this is it i do recommend fifth wheel they pull a lot better than a bumper pull, but it all depends on what your truck's capability is. I like the fifth wheel. I do wish my bedroom was a little taller, but we'll get to that in a minute. These ovens absolutely suck. Now the burners are great, you know. Don't mind the the messy looking burner there. It's just been burned over time. So um, these burners are great. You turn them on, they light right up. These are awesome. The thing that does suck is these freaking ovens these ovens I, we haven't turned this thing on but one time since we started doing this the reason being they use a lot of propane they don't get very hot if they do get hot it takes them forever the, the temperatures don't stay consistent so what we did is we got ourselves a convection oven slash air fryer don't mind the dent right there something fell off whenever we were in transition to somewhere and put a nice dent in it but these are amazing now the only thing that you have to remember about these is especially if you have a 30 amp rig like what we do is you have to have a power source coming from somewhere else because you do not want to plug this in inside because you can't run your air conditioning and your oven at the same time that is one thing that we have made mistake after mistake on so what i did is I went outside and I'll take you out there in just a second and show you how I did this. And I just ran an extension cord from the box because one of the things that you'll find is whenever you get to these campgrounds, there are uh, additional plugs on your meter. So you don't, you have your rig plug and then you'll have just standard 110 plugs, usually on a, on a 15 amp breaker, which is plenty enough just to run this. So I only run this off of that 15 amp breaker and then we run everything else on the inside off of the breaker inside of the house. These things are amazing. The reason that these are amazing is because whenever you're coming in and out of these campers, bugs like to collect up next to the wall where they can see the light. So what we did is we bought one of these additional screens. So we do have a screen door, but whenever you open the door, this limits the space that they have that they can come inside. And then they flop together and it keeps the bugs out. So let me go show you this over here. So this is what I was talking about. So you've got a 50 amp, 30 amp, which is what we are. And then I was wrong, this 110 is actually a 20 amp plug. So you can run 20 amps off of this 110 outlet right here. So what I did is I plug an extension cord in there and then it goes up inside of here and up through the back of the cabinet um, so that I can just plug a multi-plug into the back of that. And then it, plugs into whatever I want up there. So I only run my oven off of that. And then you've got your water and everything. That's pretty self-explanatory. Plug your water into it. 
a lot of these places already have these uh, regulators on them so that the water pressure doesn't get too high so that's pretty simple so let's go back inside real quick okay so another thing is if you buy one of these older units ours is a 98 the reason that we bought this is because it's in impeccable shape it's pretty nice she keeps it nice and clean don't mind that stuff over there that's all storage i'll get to that in just a minute so one of the things you're going to want to do is a lot of these rigs come with these stupid freaking terrible uncomfortable horrible futons i know that's a lot of words to describe a futon but that's how much i hated it so what we did is we bought love seat recliners okay measure your your area out get those stupid things out of there immediately and then what we did is a friend of ours gave us this. And what this is, is it's just basically a little ottoman thing where you can put your feet up in like a chair or something, but it's got storage and it fits perfectly in here next to that. So that is full of pictures, paperwork, things like that. This is normally inside of here, but we had to get um, some paperwork out of it. And uh, I just haven't stuck it back in there because it's... It's kind of a pain so big tip if you got one that barely fits because you need a lot of storage don't keep stuff in there that you need to get to regularly and then another thing is we've got some other stuff back there now brings me to my next point only keep what you need because space is at a very 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 minimum and that right honey very. we're lucky and we have a lot of cabinets for like our kitchen stuff but i mean you don't want to keep things like your you know your baby pictures in the same cabinet that you have your food in so kind of pay attention to that stuff um okay so this thing here uh whenever we lived up in the kansas city area uh the reason that we bought this was to keep um it a little bit warmer in here because we were rolling through propane like crazy now it turned out that it was a better idea just to run the furnace all the time because we ended up freezing our pipes but this is a cool little thing that we bought and uh, we just kind of like it it's a nice little ambient light at nighttime and then we've got this little light that we turn on because the lights inside here are fluorescent and terrible so um back here um this is our shower okay this is a shower bath so it's kind of nice because we can um bathe my daughter in here whenever she's with us so it's a it's an actual bathtub um the thing about this was that it had this shower door on here that was full like hard metal or uh glass shower door and whenever you were inside there you had to open it inwards and it was just a pain it was terrible so what i would do to maximize space is to get one of these just it's just a shower curtain just a normal shower curtain and get you like a good restricting flow head because it helps with your water pressure staying nice and high in there so that's that um over here now this is our bedroom you got to kind of crawl in there because our roof isn't very tall but what we did is we kind of ran into an area where we didn't have a whole lot of clothing storage. Of course, you do have the storage underneath the bed right here, which is full of like, you know, like clothes you don't wear a whole lot, winter stuff, because we live in Florida now. And then we've got two closets on either side of the bed, but she wanted to be able to hang up her clothes. So what we did is we went and bought a curtain rod from Walmart. It stands up on the ground um, I cut the legs down and then it just kind of presses against that wall and then presses against this stand right here to hold it up. Okay. So fairly simple, but, um, you know, it, it's, some people are like, oh, well, that's going to be in the way and, you know, whatever. It's really not because this is her side of the bed and this is where we have most of the space and whatnot we have some towels and like our clothes bin and our tv which i'll show you how i mounted that it's actually pretty cool the way that i did it um and then she has to have her window open because she's kind of claustrophobic so that is a nice little hack on how to get yourself more space you just i mean 
you can't stand up in here so i'm never on this side of the bed there's some i fold some clothes up and i put them on the ground and then i've got some towels over there and then i've got a little fan on the ground that points up at me the only thing i get into is that cabinet right there that's got underwear socks and some of my winter clothes that hang up in there so it's all about how easy you need to get to something and how often you need to get to something so right here now i know this is a little weird but once again stuff is a little claustrophobic so i had to find a way to open this up so what i did is i took the door off the bathroom here because i mean honestly if you're gonna live in such a small confined space you need to get really comfortable with your partner what's up dude you need to be really comfortable with your partner because if you don't like them this isn't gonna work so um this here is a three by two foot hole three foot by two foot hole that i cut in this wall so that it would open up this bathroom space make it feel a little bit more open in the bedroom and it worked it really does feel a little bit more open in here but here's the thing if you're gonna have to go number two you got to kick the other person out of the room or what we do is a lot of times i don't like to go number two in the camper because it's kind of it, it it just leaves you open to clogging up the tanks and you have to deal with it whenever you go and drain them and all this other stuff so it's just easier just go number one in here go number two over there so that being said we don't really go number two in this camper so this doesn't need to really be closed off but we do have a door right there for emergency situations so we can go to the bathroom in here that being said look at this so these are her bathroom things okay that she needs to get to and look you can reach it right here you don't have to clutter up your bathroom and pack stuff in here so we do have some storage this is another one of her closet spaces but there's pants and everything else in there and then we've got some rags and whatnot so this hole here as silly as it may seem has actually been awesome because when you lay in the bed too you don't have a wall right there you don't have something that just feels like it's closing in on you so it makes it feel a little bit more open in here and it's it's definitely something that i would recommend it took me about two hours and it was about 20 bucks worth of plastic um window trim and then we have our tv hung right there now let me show you the way that i did this so inside of here i just took a piece of two by four chopped it down and screwed my mount through the wall and now you can see right there it's just bolted and it has this whole wall that is supporting it so that's how i mounted that find you a place where you can get in behind it if you don't have it like an actual mounting bracket screw a piece of two by four to it super simple easy come here come here this is the little mascot of the camper good little boy six month old cavalier king charles spaniel so pretty so pretty say hi <laughs> all right so um this is a refrigerator it's a standard one that comes through here it runs on ac uh lp gas which is pretty cool so lp gas and uh it can the the battery that um controls kind of some of the vital functions of the camper can uh, control the lp gas side of it and then you can run solely on battery I have it set to auto it just runs on ac all the time good to go um this is our tester here for our holding tanks um looks like i need to actually go and empty out the poop tank i don't keep fresh water in the tank back here because it's cracked got cracked in the winter time and I'm always hooked up to shore power or shore water, so doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, big one. Right here. See this little dude? This is a tankless water heater. Okay. Highly recommend everyone do this 100% of the time. And the reason being is it goes through less LP gas and you constantly have hot water. I can we can go in there and we can take a two hour shower if we wanted to as long as I have water and gas we can take a shower and that was one of the big things for Steph whenever we moved in here is 
oh, the water doesn't stay hot very long. I gotta turn the water off all the time, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this isn't ideal if you're boondocking, but I don't go boondocking, so we never, we never have a situation where we have to conserve water or anything like that. So this thing is amazing. It was super easy to install. This one's made by Furion. All I had to do was plumb in uh, cold water up top. Hot water comes out of the bottom. Ran two leads to a uh, my battery, which is behind here outside. I just ran a positive and a negative and put a inline fuse in there. It's got a fuse on the unit, but I put an inline fuse in there anyways. And now whenever you turn this bad boy on, takes a second, clicks on, there you go. Now we're getting up to 104 degrees. Okay, 106, it'll go back down to 104. But anyways, the nice part about that is, and the reason that we have it set on 104 is sometimes whenever you adjust and you try to add cold water, hot water, whatever it may be to it, it'll actually cause that to jump up higher because the water flow slows down. So the heating element will actually try to overheat the water to kind of keep up with it. So it's kind of weird, but what we found is just set it on ours, set it to 104, just only run the hot water and you're good to go. All right guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out from the Landry clan.